We looked into the routing table uh, recently about interesting trends and this is something we noticed that top ASNs, specifically AS1, 2 and 3 are coming again and again in routing table when we don't really expect them. And a significant part of the problem is uh, because these are the top ASNs and a lot of documentations of vendors suggest that while prepending just repeat the ASN and they, they put the AS1, 2 or 3 in the documentation. That, that really makes an impact because people tend to copy the documentation in the router config and that results in these, these ASNs coming up in the, in the routing table. Uh, we, we looked into the data for last five years, mostly from uh, you know, the open source uh, routing, uh, you know, open source uh, routing points like uh, RIPE RIS, Oregon Route Views, and uh, we try to grab out all the instances where we see AS1, 2 or 3 being misused. Yeah, so uh, out of our research data, we found that uh, there are two interesting trends. One, of course, being AS1, 2 and 3 coming up in the routing table with, when, when we don't expect them to. And the other thing was an interesting impact of, of disconnected network islands. We, we found cases where in, uh, in, in a, within an AS path, an ASN is coming twice. And that's not the case of prepend. And ASN, which is not adjacent to itself, is, is just coming twice. And this very unusual behavior based on, based on uh, BGP's loop prevention algorithm, it should just avoid it. It's still coming that shows that uh, there are, there are interesting, interesting things happening in the routing table when, where, where they should not be. And uh, this was one of, one of uh, my previous presentations at, at Sanog. Where, uh, where I discussed the cases where we see uh, such trends where ASN is repeating. So uh, the disconnected network island gave an idea of how networks across multiple geographies are operating and the cases when those networks are not directly connected and learning the routes indirectly. There are cases when, when networks do not have default route and they are trying to learn their own routes which is on the other side not connected with a, with a backbone or any, any possible tunneling protocol. And there are, there are a considerable amount of cases where networks learn their own routes and then leak it further to outside. And that gives very, very uh, weird trends and that, that really impacts the, the way uh, routing works for them. It, it really degrades the, degrades the routing and efficiency of their network. There are multiple impacts this can have. One, of course, is that it's like uh, it's giving a false sense that someone is having AS1, 2 or 3 while they are not having because it shows in the AS path. So it confuses a lot of routing tools. This includes uh, our bgp.he.net. So you'll find confusing relationship of these top ASNs in, in our tool. You will you'll often find uh, you'll often find cases where actual uh, actual networks which are using these ASNs would be filtering those routes because of uh, B because of BGP loop prevention algorithm. We would uh, like to uh, do further analysis maybe after a year or so to see uh, if, if the trend is same, if, if it's a specific region or, or area from where this is happening. So far in our study we found that this is pretty much common across all regions. It is common across all, all RIRs, all countries and even the trend is slightly there in IPv6 too.